Hello everybody, the One Red Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play for Xenoblade Chronicles X. In the last episode, we finished the Present for Hope Affinity mission, and we also started another normal mission where we helped out Arathian, and uh... Yeah, we also started another Affinity mission called the Nop on Air, and for the next objective, we need to go back to the Administrative District and uh... Talk to Tassia. I think that's what, the text is kind of small for to read it, so wasn't wasn't sure what the name of the person of the novel we had to actually talk to. Okay, so let us go and find out where this person is. Seriously? We're gonna have to use the, use the wayfinder finder thing. What? Not taking me to the right spot. Always when I do this, there's always like a harder thing to do. I guess I'm going up. It's gonna take me back to the blade tower, isn't it? Like it did the last time. Probably gonna get turned around again. Hey. No, it's not. I guess it's just up here that the person is I need to talk to. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's right back to where I start. I got the Vinny mission from. I just kind of backtracked a little. I got a little bit confused, but here we are. Good sir, we have your ingredients. Now you can create that ancient Nopon remedy you need, right? Mm. Something wrong? Tora have even blanker stare than usual. I'm pretty sure that's disappointment, Tatsu. This not enough. But Tora still need final ingredient. Guardian Ether Stare. Oh dear. You know it? We do. The Guardian Ether Scale is an exceedingly rare material shed by a most singular creature. Uh -huh. A singular creature? It is known as the ruler of fates. Here, see for yourselves. Hey, it's... That's right. We saw this creature deep inside Noctilum. It serves as a steward of all life on Mira, and is said to cull the impure. It has never been defeated in battle. And Tora want Team Tatsu to fight it? Tora crazy! But it's crucial we help this sick Nopon, right Tora? Tora value his life above all other Nopon. Then it's settled. We'll get you that scale. Elma. I won't allow the future of the Nopon people to be threatened on my watch. Okay, so it looks like we need to head to Noctilum's Divine Roast. And... Wait. It's over here. Is that, it's right where I'm... We're going back... Back to where... I was doing all that grinding for the classes. And so I, I, I'm assuming I just need to get into the skill for this fight. Don't know how hard it's actually gonna be or not. Where is it? Um, 
more down. Uh, oh, here we go. At last, we have arrived at the creature's lair. So this is it. of us does the culling. <laughs> of course Tatsu runs away. Like a wimp. It's a horse -eat horse and of course it is level 99, but hopefully I can actually do this. Can I not actually fight this thing? What power? This is exactly why we counseled against coming here and provoking it. You never said that. Is it... letting us go? Uh... This is the God. legends do claim that the ruler of fates can read the hearts of those it sees, to judge their worth. Perhaps we were just fortunate enough to be judged worthy in the end. Uh, what's that? Wait, this is... It appears to be a guardian ether scale. Really? Yes! Now Tora can make his remedy! It seems we passed the test. Always nice to know the neighbors are okay with you moving in. Okay, I, I was a little bit scared we were actually going to have to fight that level 99 enemy, which... I guess was probably going to be the... Strongest enemy in the game? Maybe? This doesn't matter because you can't even fight it, but... Well, it's pretty scary looking. Okay, so let's leave, let's go. I guess last time I teleported to like a different level to fire the walk a bit more. Tora glad everyone returned safe. Could friends find the Guardian Ether Scale? We did. Oh, -ho! Tora speechless. Come, let us ready that remedy for you. And here we go. It is finished. Thank you, friends. Tatsu, glad to see all end well. Thanks to friends, no pun future is secure. Oh, and Elma, this is for your team. 
What is it? A special augment born of the Remedy's creation. Really? What does it do? It shares the Remedy's healing properties. How in the world? We'd like to think of it as a gift from the ruler of fates. It's a pleasing thought at any rate. A gift? Welcoming and accepting us all as inhabitants here on Mira. What is Tora waiting for? Go give medicine to Signopan! All right! Tora almost forget to drink it! What? What, what are you saying? Tora said heir to Nopon future had terrible sickness! Yes, very terrible! Tora, heir to Nopon future, have terrible gas after eating huge lunch! At long last, Tora find relief! Ancient Nopon remedy work wonders! Huh? Why are your friends so quiet? Tora need more than medicine when Tatsu finished with him. Ah! What did Tora do? And we finished the Nopon Air. Of course, Nopons are always like that. We learned the cycle on Shard. Dual Dynasty. Okay, finally got that taken care of. And I'm actually gonna take out a L from the party. Okay. So now all I have to do is go and look for another affinity mission. I know there's another one around here somewhere. I just have to go and find it. Oh, and get this. This might actually take a couple minutes. Somewhere this way. Bear with me as I try to find this affinity mission. Oh wait, it's over here. Yes, here it is. Hopefully I don't need someone. Okay, um... Fire member... Boss. Boses. Hang on, let me try to look up where he actually is. One, two, three, four. West Melville Street. Oh, we actually have to press the East Melville Street. Oh, I. I went to the east one, not the west one. What? Oh, here's Bose. You know that's not Bose. Okay, I think I figured out where actually Bose is. It's not where I googled it up and said he would be. Um, hopefully he's here. Got 
gotta be busted. Whoa. Is he in here? Oh well, there is a mission mission over here, anyways. Oh, thank God. Hey there, you. Yes, you. With the force, with the face. What do you say to the idea of a specialized combat field? Hmm? Say an atmospheric charge that hastens scale fuel recovery, for example. Does that sound convenient? I agree. Oh yes, it sounds like a blade's dream come true, doesn't it? And yes, it's real. I called the battle pro. Invented it, it while I was abro aboard the White Whale, as you see. So I don't really have any completed units on me, but I can explain the premise. Essentially, this new type of data probe takes the electromagnetic field generated by Frontier Nav and induces a dynamic conversion. The resulting char charge increases the area around the probe, producing one of many potential types of specialized combat fields. I'm sure you want to see it in action, right? Probably can't wait to get your little blade hands on it. I tell you, once this thing takes all off with the blades, it will revolutionize front mind combat. Meyer? No doubt you are. In that case, I'll, I'd like to ask you for a favor. I'm, my design calls for a large quantity of meranium. I've been running around the city begging, but every factory and lab is assembled, scrambling for the stuff. And no one can can see past the the, the the genius of my idea. So so myopic. Now can you overlook a game changer like like this just to produce more of the same boring uh, dreck? Anyway, this is where you, you come in. I need you to secure me ten thousand units of meridian. Your reward will be a shiny new battle probe, a bargain and a half, if I do say so myself. And your data probe challenge. Perfect, good, excellent. Now give me that meridian. Meridian. It's time to give give form to the stroke of genius that, that that struck me as we were striking Mira. All right. Well, got that meridian yet? Come on, then. The battle probe is aching to be born. Born. Straining. This is pushing forth and yes, well, end of metaphor. And let's give it to him. Yes, yes. Wait right there. I'll have it ready momentarily. It's done, it's finally done! Setting the first of hopefully many different kinds of battle probes. The fuel re recovery probes. Set this baby at a, at a front line, tier nav data probe at site, and any scale sparks in that whole region will recover, recover fuel at an accelerated rate. Go on, take it, it's yours. Just promise to get out there and show the world that your inventions are more useful than any weapons of those armed manufacturers creak at, rank out. Oh, and uh, protect the wall welfare of all new LA citizens as well. I guess that's important. And just like that, we got it. We just had enough uh, meridium. Meanwhile, I hope more kinds of battle probes to... I have more kinds of battle prototypes. In fact, I got a whole stack of designs just waiting for my Eureka touch. Come back and visit me again, all right? One, I can't, two, three, I can't three, see my four. designs implemented without help from, from blades like you. All right, I finally got that done, and not exactly sure where this Bose character is. It's up, Professor B, right? That's a different person. Oh, there, I guess there is another uh, normal mission here for us. Well, let's talk to him. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you pretty much forever, you know. Anyway, Pro Professor B sent us a message. We're from the future? It sounds like he needs help, but I don't think there is a whole lot I can do. It sounds like he needs help, but I don't think there is a whole lot I can do. There's, there's one of his. This is one of his inventions. It lets you direct, directly communicate with the specified target's brain. 
Are you with me so far? I was I was most surprised when it suddenly materialized on top of my desk one day, you know? Anyway, maybe it's faster than if I just show you. I'll play back it. I'll play it, it back again. The sucker! On? Alright. This message is encoded to only Dave and, and, and Red Panda can view it. But don't either of you knuckleheads go telling anyone else what you hear. I've still got people after me. Anyway, I'll go get to the point. I'm on Great Washington Isle over in Oblivia. I need some help here with... Well, you'll see when you get here. And hurry it up. I need to go back to the city and get to the bottom of this anomaly affecting Mira. Seems the space Mira occupies is something even more troubling than we thought. Be... What? what? Ah, here comes my prey. Anyway, that's a story. I'll see you here soon. Don't be late. Did you get all that? Confirm? Oh good, so like I said, the spot the professor mentioned isn't really somewhere I can get to, you know? So I was hoping you could help him out instead. I'm sure you got s tons of questions for him, right? Like what he's doing back in our time, for starters. And we got Professor B's return! Thank you, and good luck and all that. While you're gone, I'll dust off his lab so we're ready to get cracking it once he comes back, alright? Okay, so it looks like we're back back to this uh, time-traveling like side like, mission storyline. And we need to warp to F and Site 319 in Oblivia. Alright. Here. Apparently there's just one random guy like out in the middle of nowhere. Can actually even get up from here? Or do I need to scale? Oh, he's over here, never mind. Alright, there he is. Whoa, what? Hey, it's you, kid! We finally got here! Now I can finally say goodbye to, to roughing it like some kind of Neanderthal. I've been leaving a novel. Existence since the day I took off in the, my Mira mobile. Let me tell you. I've been living in a novel existence since the day I took off in my Mira. Oh, I already said that. Don't worry. Uh, let's curate. Okay, so I did cross the potential cuss word threshold. That's like 99% of time travel. But after that, I got got thrown back into this time period, almost as if something was blocking my way. I'm sure you have many more questions where that one c came from, kid, but would you mind dealing with these darn idiots that are surrounding us first? What, you didn't notice them, kid? Tsk tsk. It seems pretty clear they are. They followed you here. They're probably God's goons. Remember that human who, ta who attacked you? He seemed awfully eager to pay me a visit. I'll be really reclining in my mirror mobile in the me meantime. Let me know when you've Mapped them up. Mapped them up. What do you think, kid? Except professional as ever. I'm sure you got it well in hand. Just let me know when you're ready to go, kid. All right, let's go. All set. Not that the likes of God, God, God will ever give you any trouble. Am I right? Agreed. Happy hunting, kid. Huh? Then... Hey, Gad. How long are you planning to play hide-and-seek, precisely? You won't get your grub grubby mitts on my tech by hiding, you know? Yeah, 
you're up and disappeared on me, and now I find you've been camping out here this whole time? Well, vacation's over, Professor. Now all that's left is figuring out what happens next. Tell you what, why don't we let your little guard dog there and decide how this goes down? Well, will it be A, you, you hand the professor over quietly, nobody gets her, hurt and we have live happily ever after? Or B, you're, you resist like an idiot, I kill you anyways. Then I scrape out the good professor's brains and take what's inside. Trust is all yours, pal, and got, I got no complaints as long as I get what, I, what I'm after. Uh, let's fight. I had a credit for every time I hear that one. It's tragic how none of them realize it till, till it's too late. Well, we got this. You can see it in their eyes as they're lying there bleeding out. I should have gone with choice A. Oh well, what's, what are you gonna do? Please be low leveled. Okay, yeah, this, we're gonna take them out pretty easily. Apparently, in a three minute time run. We haven't had too many of those, like, miss these missions where there's actually a timer. It can actually be kind of problematic, but I'm pretty sure I'll get it done in time. Hey, come on, hurry up, Art! Alright, take that guy out. They just keep coming, or wait. Yeah, let's take this guy, this thing out first. I hope we had to take out that thing first when the enemies wouldn't come over. There we go. But we still have to find more. Why is this? I hope I can still win this. Okay. Wait, what? Like, will I lose if I get down 30 seconds to turn it up? I guess we have to protect the Professor B. We don't actually have to fight, take out all the enemies. We just have to fight them alone and alone. At least I hope so, at least. Yeah, we just have to fight until the timer's over. Darn it is. I can only imagine the scientists that would use that lot as hired goons. Even if they did get their hands on my knowledge, I it'd take them centuries to make any sense of it. They can't see an inch past their own blasted noses. Science is all about keeping your eyes at a hundred paces, down the road as you work. The moment they start spending time stealing up others' work instead of doing their own, it's a bad cause. Agreed. Although, there are those in this area walking in 
to author their own new chapter in history. Vivian's one of them. Despite all, all his inexperience, the feature I come from was built in part by such folks. So I've got to do what I can as well. To do that, I need to get back to L NLA. But could you possibly gather some blast shards from around here in Oblivion, kid? We needed to fuel the Miramobile. Okay, I guess I have to... Well, I guess we, it, we already got them, but we're actually going to end this episode here and, and uh, finish this n mission next time. So guys, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and post a comment about what you thought of the video, and I'll see you guys next time for more of my Let's Play 4 Xenoblade Chronicles X. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out!